Sheriff David Clark is Fox News' go-to black cop to bash black people. And he's currently out on the campaign trail for Donald Trump. And he made some comments about uh, how it's time for pitchforks and torches. So that led to some controversy, and the media uh, covered it. And then the very next day, he came out, and he doubled down, and he repeated himself. Let's watch. Like I said, and I'll continue to say, it is pitchfork and torches time in America. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, God bless you and may God continue to bless these United States of America. Hilarious that they cut to a Backstreet Boys song there. For the record, the Backstreet Boys have said, Stop playing our song on your campaign, Donald. We don't want that. Stop it. We don't like you. Uh, so he goes, Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm so tough. And then he cuts to Backstreet Boys. <laughs> okay, so this guy and Trump have repeatedly said, We're the people who stand up for law and order. That's what we do. How many times did Trump say in his speech at the RNC, Law and order! That's what I'm for, law and order. This guy, his whole thing, his whole theme on Fox News, and anytime he does any interview anywhere in the media, what we need in this country is law and order. We need people to follow the law. That's what we need. Everybody's playing too loose with the law. It's time to bring back structure and organization and law and order. That's what we're in favor of. And what did he just say right there? Uh, it's time for pitchforks and torches. Wait, hold on, but you're, you were just lecturing about law and order. Your whole thing is law and order. Okay, I... Okay. Pause on that for a second. Now pitchforks and torches, we'll come back to law and order in a little bit. No, because... Uh, so, how, how, does, how does he, you know, square this circle in his head? Well, it's very simple. The way that this guy thinks, the way that uh, Donald Trump thinks, it's... Oh no, it's... Whatever I do is law and order, by definition. It's the old Nixon move. When the president does it, it's not illegal. Yeah, it is, fuckface. That's the whole point of America. But these guys think that way, too. Oh, uh, what do you mean? I have a badge. I have this cowboy hat. I like watching Chuck Norris on TV, so whatever I do is legal and right. No, idiot. Life is not a fucking Steven Seagal movie. Okay, this isn't... It's not how the world works. You don't get to violate every law in the book. And then say, but I'm standing up for law and order. No, you didn't. You just violated the law. Pitchforks and torches, brah, go after the Democrats. Oh, what? No, law and order. That's what I believe in. But you don't believe in it. You're just talking about pitchforks and torches, by the way. But that's just a minor point because this is, you know, this is rhetoric. It's okay. He's rhetorically not in line with law and order, even though he says that's his whole thing is law and order. Did you know? There's a recent story about this. This guy, Sheriff David Clark... In his jail, somebody recently died from thirst. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? And then, again, you'll go out there all day long. Law and order, 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 law and order. Law and order? Law and order? This ain't no SVU, motherfucker. Are you kidding me? Somebody died in your jail from thirst! You didn't give them water! I think, maybe, you need law and order! You broke the law! Nope, when I do it, it's okay. Somebody dies in my jail of thirst, I'm not gonna take responsibility. Who cares about law and order? Law and order for everybody else, not for me. I can do whatever I want and that is the law. No, it's not. So these people, they, they're stuck on a toddler's mindset. And it's really sad. And for Donald Trump specifically, I mean, here's a guy who... Cold... The Geneva Conventions, the problem. He wants to pull out of the Geneva Conventions. He's like, I'm the law and order candidate. Except international law. Fuck law and order for international law, but law and order I'm still on the side of. That doesn't even make any sense. Ultimate law and order I'm against, but I'm for law and order. What? <laughs> he says, let's bring back torture. Let's bring back worse than waterboarding. I want to kill civilians. Let's take out their families, the families of terrorists. Again wildly breaking international law, but I'm for law and order. No, but you're not for law and order. All those times 
you know, you called for violence at your rallies. I'd like to punch them in the face. Hey, you know what used to happen to guys like this who protested at a rally? They'd be brought out, uh, out of here on a stretcher. This is uh, law and order. Law and order. But beat up people I disagree with. But law and order. Law and order. His, his, you know, not caring about, again, the Constitution, which is ultimate law in the United States, m created a media blacklist. You wrote bad things about Trump? You're out of here. You don't have free press rights. Are you kidding me? Get the fuck out of here. No First Amendment rights for you. Suing Bill Maher over a joke. Suing The Onion over satire. This got law and order. Law and order. Law and order. Except when it's inconvenient, then no law and order. But law and order. And nobody calls it out. Nobody calls it out. Go, even if you turn on fucking CNN, be like, okay, yeah, Donald Trump is running his campaign. One of the things he's running on is law and order. But you fucking dig into it. Dig into it. Explain how that's stupid. Explain how that's wrong. Explain how that's not true. Explain how that makes no sense. Explain how Sheriff David A. Clark, as he says he cares about law and order, he then says, pitchforks, let's bring out the pitchforks and the torches, and oh yeah, somebody died in my jail of thirst. They got nothing to say about it. Look, you guys are hacks. You guys are hacks, and you're pathetic, and I see right through you.